what is up everybody how's it going and welcome back all right so i picked up a eight pack of these nylite mounting bracket um brackets it's a mounting bracket kit um so you could it does four pairs of um light mounts for bar mounts um whether you have a ram guard that's a tubular ram guard um or maybe you have a tubular bumper like a hybrid style bumper, or maybe you want to mount them to your, your roll cage or, you know, whether you have an interior roll cage, you want to mount something, you can use these for that. They don't have to use them just for lights. You can use them to mount other things. Um, you can also uh, use these to, um, you know, mount on like exoskeletal roll cages, which would be on the outside of the vehicle. I picked up this pack. It's actually not a bad pack. There are a couple little um, issues with it that's not necessarily the fault of the company or anything like that. So it does come with multiple sizes. So it comes with these strips. Um, if you put these strips on your, your bars, um, they're self-adhesive strips. Um, and then you clamp these clamps to this uh, foam on your bar. Um, it will turn this into a two inch clamp. If you clamp these clamps directly onto the bar like they are, they will clamp on two and one quarter inch uh, bar, just how they are by themselves with nothing else, none of these rubbers or anything like that. So two and a quarter inch bar by themselves, two inch with the foam, and then you have one inch or a one and three quarter. I'm sorry, one and three quarter would be these little tiny shims, and there is 16 of each, so one and three quarter inch size bar, you would use these shims. If you wanted to use one and a half inch bar, you would use these shims right here, which are a little bit thicker, and then the one inch bar shims are very thick. Um, so you can do one inch, one and a half, one and, uh, one and three quarter, two inch, and two and a quarter. So they give you quite a bit of um, options. That's one, two, three, four, five size uh, differences, which is pretty nice. Um, these do uh, bolt pretty uh, pretty tightly. The one flaw I've noticed is these screws are quite small. Uh, they're Allen cap screws, which is not a big deal, but um, when you, for an example, my bar is actually 1.5 uh, two inches. So it's one and a half plus, you know, like, a, a I'm a little over a 16th. It's a, it's, um, not exactly, exactly a hundred percent one, one and a half inches. So these bushings are a little bit thick, um, for anything over 1.5 inches. If your bar is 1.52 or 1.53 or four, um, how I figured out to get these to work um, without having major issues is instead of using these lock washers, just use the bolt by themselves. And you're gonna have to take these clamps and you're, with the rubber grommets, you're gonna have to squeeze them um, as you're putting in at least one of the bolts. Um, so that's the only issue I found. Just don't put the lock washer on. And the lock washer is not really necessary when you have these two rubber shims. Um, in here, um, you're going to have the, 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 the rubber force forcing these clamps away from each other. So when you have these on here, these bolts are basically going to be like there is a, a lock washer on them. They're not going to back out because when you have the rubber um, in these pieces and you squeeze them to put the bolts on, you're putting tension on the rubber and the rubber is putting outward force on these clamps, trying to force these clamps apart, and the bolt is gonna hold them clamped together. So the bolt is um, is actually being counteracted on. Um, so I will take you guys out. I'm gonna mount a couple of them up, show you guys that they, they'll move the ram guard just by uh, moving these when they're nice and tight. Um, so I'm gonna go get a couple of these set up, and they are pretty nice, so the inside has teeth. Um, this is what clamps on the bar and then on the back side you see there is teeth also so there you go 
it, it, those teeth on the back of these rubber pieces actually locks them into the teeth on the jaws. Um, so you can shake them and they won't come off. So that's, that's a nice feature. Um, so I'm going to go set these up and I will bring you guys back in a second. Uh, but it's a nice kit for 32 bucks. I will leave a link in the description for you guys if you guys want to check it out. All right, guys, so we're back. So I got a couple of them mounted up just to show you guys. So here they are. This is what they look like. As you can see, I did not use, I'll show you guys, I did not use the lock washers um, because with the lock washers on, uh, you can't squeeze it hard enough to actually get one or two threads started. Um, so what I did is I just started this thread right here and then I just rotated the whole clamp so the bottom thread was up here and then I squeezed the two clamps and the rubber together um, until I got a thread in. With the lock washers, you can't, um, with these specific bolts, you cannot get the them on, um, especially since this bar right here is 1.52 uh, inches, so it's a little bit bigger than uh, one and a half, but this is what they look like. You can mount your lights directly right here, have them sit up, or you can mount them underneath, however you want to do uh, that, um, and the kit that I got will do two on this bar. I'm going to have them hang upside down, and then I'm going to mount two here on these ports. And then I'm going to mount two on that bottom bar. And I need to fix that. But this was already bent when uh, this ram guard was actually given to me. So this was already bent. Um, so I just, I bent it out some. And I just need to take a chain. And I need to, you know, hook it up to the truck. And just drive backwards a little bit to pop this back out. Um, and then I'm going to mount one set. You know, one mount here. And have my 7 inch uh, light bars hanging out from under here. Um, which is going to be, there's going to, it's going to be about sitting about right here. Um, so, um, I think it's going to look good, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Um, if you have an exoskeleton, you can actually put it, you know, um, on your exoskeleton. If you want to mount like, a uh, speakers for, you know, like a GMRS radio inside, you could, if you have a roll cage inside, you could use these to do that too. Um. You know, there's lots of options for these. You can use them for a lot of things. Um, but that's what that looks like. Like that. Um, you're going to always have these exposed um, to a degree. So it might be uh, a good idea to put like uh, anti-seize or something on these. Uh, to prevent the... These are stainless. To prevent the, any issues you can also just get these button heads in a longer length um, and then you could use different uh, if you get a you know these are five eighths in length if you get a one inch you could possibly use the the little tiny shims the the uh, one and three quarter inch shims on a one and a half inch pipe um, if you have longer bolts so you there's lots of options you can change the bolt lengths uh, and that will provide uh, different variations on which clamps you want to use um, but i do hope the video is helpful guys um, i don't want to take the light pods that i have out yet um, i only have pods for my ditch light pods are here and my rear bumper lights are here um, i do not i have not gotten my seven inch um uh, light bars yet so I'm gonna have one two three four five six and then one on each wing and then when the bumper gets replaced with an actual off-road bumper this ram guards coming off and then I'll mount them to the actual bumper um, in a different way but uh yeah that's what it looks like they go on pretty easy uh, give you just a few other options guys if you have like a tubular roof rack, you could also do that, uh, use those as well on a tubular roof rack. So there we go. Um, if you guys want to check these out, they're only 32 bucks for the kit. It's not a bad price for the kit. Um, you can buy some hardware and change them up a little bit. Um, I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check this out on Amazon. Hope the video was helpful, guys, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!